Here I'm sitting in my swivel chair, explain to you a drive that works with air. A swivel drive, it's cold, for sure. Listen to me, then it's less obscure. Hello and welcome to a new video about pragmatics. This time we are going to talk about swivel drive. Huh? Pragmatic swivel drive. With this little rhyme, I already opened yeah? and I'm going to explain how this is working. So, we are talking about swivel drive. We already got something which did rotate, yeah? rotary cylinder, and the swivel drive also rotates because it's a swivel rotate, right? So, basically, it's round. Should be round. <laughs> then there's the rotating shaft. Here, this is fixed, and there is some sort of, of wing flap, something like this. This is sealed here, and here we got holes. This is one position, huh? so here we cut it open. It is working pretty, pretty straightforward. This shaft can rotate. Yeah? It the the flap and the shaft. They are fixed to each other. In, if we are adding in here air, and here the air can exhaust, this flap will simply turn until it's the mechanical limit on this on this side. And if I do it the other way around, it turns the other way around. So this is one position, and the second position would then be here on this side. Like I said, there are ceilings. They have the same task like the piston ceiling. And that's it. Swivel drive. Working pretty well. Pretty straightforward, right? So, rotating angle is from 0 to 270 degree. Yeah? It's not a full rotation because simply there is this mechanical barrier here, which has to separate the pressure side from the relieved side, in either way. Hmm? 0, to 20, 0 to 270 degree, yeah? and of course there is also the torque, and the torque can be 0 to 5 Newton meter, so small, yeah? and the, the, the maximum torque, so it depends a little bit on the size of the flap, of course, but it would be 20 Newton meters, so a little bit less than the rotary cylinder. Yeah? Also at six bars. Well, the size, this is of course determining the, the, the area of the flap here. Uh, this defines at a certain pressure the torque. And what also helps is, of course, the radius. Because if the force applies a little bit outside, yeah, more outside, I have more distance and more torque. Swivel drive. Next time we're going to talk about symbols. We're talking about we're going to talk about symbols in of our pragmatic elements, working elements. And then well, that's it for the working elements, what we are going to hear in this topic. So we had cylinders, we had special cylinders uh, like, like uh, pistonless or rodless, piston rodless cylinders, yeah, linear drives. We had the rotary cylinders yeah, and we have the swivel drive again. Yeah.
like I said, next time the symbols of this. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.